Alright, so this mower's got a weird vibration at about mid throttle. So we we're gonna try and figure out how to fix this. So here I'll start it up for you and show you. So yeah. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start, I might I'm not sure where it's coming from, but I'm gonna start by pulling these. Uh, I guess just that one screw here and it just pops off and I'll take a look at the flywheel and see if we need to take this cover off here. It's a Honda Harmony 215 SX push mower. So I pulled this cover off and well so far it's not telling me anything. So you just get you got one screw and then you just you got one, two, three clips on here you just push them in. So here's our pull cord. I'm going to pull these three off. Hopefully that pops this whole cover off so I can take a look underneath and see if there's anything under there. So I'll get that done and uh, show you if there's anything under there worth uh, telling you about. So I pulled this off and there's nothing obvious. I mean there's some leaves and junk down in here. Not surprising. Watch out you grab your fingers. Might be some pokey stuff down in there. It dries out over the years. So visually, there's nothing up here. That's funky. So not quite sure what I'm gonna do here. It's actually a bit smaller engine than I thought it was. Looks a lot bigger with that cover on it. I think it's just a 5 horsepower. But I think I don't see anything visible up here. So I think I'll... These are just 10 millimeter bolts by the way. You could probably pop them off with a quarter inch ratchet if you had to even. They're not that tight. So nothing at the top fixed it. So we're going to come down here and pull a that 13 millimeter bolt and that 13 millimeter bolt and I believe that'll pull this back cover off here and we'll see if there's anything under there and uh, I don't know if we can get at the PTO in there if we'll have to take the blade off but let's see what we can find under there just to let you guys know there's a third bolt hanging out back here that uh, you might miss like I did so for those of you who are still going to get that bottom piece off like me found a part diagram and you gotta take this wheel off to get to a little bolt down inside there. Kind of dumb design in my opinion but I mean I guess you gotta hold it in. So we'll pull that off and hopefully we can get our piece off there. I tried punching up from the top but that didn't work so that's how I found that bolt. And get that pulled off and see what we see well, there. I got my wheel off. Here's your drive unit. Real. So I have to turn the camera so fast. But problem not fixed. So seems like it's somewhere in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the blade off. Uh, I might pull this bolt off, pull the whole PTO thing off, and see if that fixes our issue. So I can figure out where the problem is. That bolt here was a 10 millimeter bolt and the wheel was a 14 millimeter and these are also a 14 millimeter bolt along with that one all right so pulling that off didn't work so i'm gonna pull off this belt on the self-propelled unit pull the belt off and see if that makes a difference so after taking everything off couldn't find anything visible and did some research that well it could possibly have a bent crankshaft. I couldn't see it until I put everything back together and got this bolt on to bolt on here. So now I can if I pull it over you can see it. I don't know if you can see that on camera but you can see the blades here. They yeah, don't stay put. So 
So we got ourselves, not terribly, but a bent crankshaft. I mean, I've seen ways to fix it, but to either junk it or leave it. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next video.